hey guys welcome back so today's tutorial is going to be on a twist and curl so the first thing we're going to do is start off with some freshly washed condition and deep condition hair and i did blow dry my hair straight to achieve this look so this is what you see right now so i'm going to first take this elasta qp argan all ultra conditioner ultra conditioner ultra hydrating deep conditioner and use this as a moisturizer and also use this curly bell gel as a um, hold to hold my hair so my hair is already sectioned how I want it to be sectioned parted I'm sorry and I'm going to go ahead and subdivide that section into another section and then I'm going to just further detangle my hair it's very important that your hair is fully detangled for this style so then I'm going to go in I'm going to take some of the deep conditioner and yes I am using a deep conditioner as my leave-in and I love this stuff. My hair loves this deep conditioner. I use it as a deep conditioner and I use it as a leave-in and I loved it both ways. So I'm going to just apply my conditioner to my hair and then I'm going to just do a simple two strand twist. But the trick is that you do not go all the way down with your twist. I'm going to apply some gel to my ends. I had grabbed too much um, so my ends can be smooth and I'm going to detangle it more and smooth my ends out I should have used my Denman brush but I couldn't find it but if you have a Denman brush feel free to use it then you're gonna take your perm rod and you're gonna just smooth your ends around the perm rod and then roll it up don't roll it all the way to the top but just roll it to about where you see mine is and that's that's pretty much it I'm gonna show you guys again how I do it Apply your conditioner, leave-in conditioner, moisturizer, whatever you uh, have to use, and then just create a two-strand twist. And like I said, it's very important to make sure that your ends are smooth and detangled. So apply some gel for hold. And then apply the purple perm rod or whatever color you have. And that's it. So this is my head after I completely twisted and curled, twisted and rolled my whole head. Um, I ended up with about 18 or 19 rollers across my whole head, but that is it. I am ready for bed. This is the next morning and this is how I slept with a satin cap and I left my two front um, bangs out of my satin cap and this is it. So I'm going to just go ahead and unravel my roller from my hair and I did put some coconut oil on my tips of my hands because I was smoothing the curls and I didn't want to get any frizz so so once all my rollers are out this is what it looks like I'm going to give my head a shake and then I'm going to go in with some more coconut oil because I'm about to take down my twist of course and you don't want frizz although I did get frizz but to reduce the frizz you put coconut oil on your hand so that's a little hefty trick and I'm going to just untwist my hair you see how shiny my hair is from this deep conditioner this stuff is like really really good I got it from my local beauty supply store so if you can get your hands on this I highly recommend it So once you finish taking all of your twists out of your head, oh, I forgot one. But once you think you're done taking all your twists out your head, just give your roots a shake. And that's this is what I do to kind of make sure that I don't have any more twists in my head. And lo and behold, I always miss one. So that kind of helps me to know if I have any twists left in my head. But once you do that, you're going to just start by taking your time undoing your twist. But do not do what I'm doing right now. Because that is not the look that you want to go for. Do you see my face? I'm like, oh, no, ma'am. <laughs> this is the trick. When you take your hair out, take it out and twirl it around your finger. Twirl the curls around your finger. Because whenever you just pull your hair apart like I was doing at that the first clip, I was completely messing my hair up. So I want to show you guys the way of not to do it and the way to do it. And so you can see the difference of it. If you, It's the important part of getting this style to work for you is twirling 
the curl around your finger. So once you finish doing all of that, you're going to just take some edge control and you're going to just lay down the edges. That is the kind I use and I like the most is, the, is by Motions. It's in a yellow jar. It's a pomade. Um, I'll just place that on my edges to lay them down and I use a toothbrush as always and I always go heavy handed because I want my edges to be laid but I always put too much and then you're going to go in with your handy dandy pick and you're going to just fluff those roots to get them to your liking this is my favorite part of styling my hair is um, shaping it with a pick so I'm going to just do that with the pick and just kind of you know unpick it wherever not unpick it <laughs> unpick it separate your hair where it needs to be and then just pick your hair okay guys so here is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with another natural sister that could use this hairstyle oh and i wanted to show you guys before i leave what day three hair looks like looks like so this is uh day three whenever it's time to restyle my hair but i did wear like this on day three but stay tuned for a video on how i restyle this twist and curl so again thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video Mwah! bye